sexy bitch. <laughs> just remembered what else I needed to do. There's something I need to send my best friend, so I have to go to the post office. But it's already three o'clock, so I'm gonna do that tomorrow, just to make sure that I have time. And then also, because it gives me something to do tomorrow. I got my old faithful today, lemon twist strawberry. Can't go wrong with that one. That one is phenomenal. So if you wanna try a smoothie or a new smoothie, if you've never had it before, try the lemon twist strawberry. I'm gonna go to Target real quick and see if I can grab a bottle of rubbing alcohol and then I'm gonna head back home so yeah I look cute today don't even lie bitch I look cute today mm. I was in there taking pictures <laughs> that girl was looking at me like oh, you're taking selfies in our window well yeah the light is phenomenal <laughs> anyway Let's go to Target and then let's go home, okay? That's so sad. There isn't one lick of alcohol on that shelf. Man. Like, what are y'all doing with the alcohol? It's like the same thing that they did with the toilet paper while y'all buying all the damn alcohol. Y'all drinking the shit? Jesus Christ. So I'm in the makeup section, because why not? <clears throat> Show you guys what I got when I get either in the car or back at the house. I'm looking for some concealer. I have one at home, but I forgot what it's called. But when I see it, I'll know it. So I'm just walking around until I find it. That's how I do shit. All right, so. Target didn't have alcohol either. Rubbing alcohol. Bruh. Why are y'all buying all the alcohol? Like, I don't know, it's like with the toilet paper all over again. Again, it's not a pressing situation, but I do need a bottle of alcohol, you know what I'm saying? So. I'm not gonna play in my hair too much, but I look good today. Fuck all bullshit. So, let me show you what I did get. I got an eyelash curler from Elf because the one that I had was just super old and not working anymore. And you might not be able to tell, but my lashes are like mad short. Like, they're super short. So, if I want my mascara to lift and boost like it's supposed to, it helps to have an eyelash curler. I also got two eyebrow pencils, one in deep brown, which is this one, and then one in neutral brown, which is this one. And I did that because sometimes I like to switch it up, like depending on my look, I need my eyebrows to be a little lighter. And then for other looks, like more intense looks, like if I do a smoky eye in black, then I would want a darker brow to give me that intensity right around my eyes. So I'm excited to try these things and I'm a little bummed about the alcohol. Like, I really, I really wanted a bottle of alcohol. But it's fine. Um, I'm gonna head home and just chill. There's nothing else that I need to do. Tomorrow I'm gonna go put my best friend's gift in the mail. I got her something. I got Colleen something as well. So when I see her, I'll give that to her. I'll show you guys what it is, but hopefully she doesn't see this vlog before I can get it to her. So a friend of mine makes um, these beautiful little bracelets. They're so pretty. And she makes them by hand and um, you know, you can put in custom orders and things like that. So I got Colleen a little bracelet, a little beaded bracelet. It's so cute. And I think that she's gonna like it a lot. So when I see her, I can give it to her. And I know she's gonna, I know she's gonna like it. It's something, it's, like a little token of appreciation for being such a good friend. Something she can wear on her wrist that'll just remind her of our friendship. So I'm gonna give that to her when I get a chance to see her. God damn, this girl is skinny. Like, holy shit. She's got ass, but she's so skinny. Like, I don't even know how like her organs and shit fit inside of her. She's so skinny. But anyway, um, yeah, so tomorrow I'm gonna have to go put my best friend's gift in the mail. Um, today I'm gonna cook the steak. 
I'm making it a point to cook the steak. I got my olive oil, got my butter. I don't have rosemary. So, damn it, I was just inside Target. I don't feel like going back in there. So, I think I'm gonna get herbs at a better cost if I go to Kroger. Because Target is not inherently a grocery store. So I'm gonna go to Kroger right by my house and just grab some rosemary and some thyme. Although it's not mandatory for the steak, I, to be quite honest, I really don't want to do it. I I usually cook steak with um, just some, some steak seasoning or just salt and pepper, and uh, you know, baste it in the butter. But I'm excited because I got a cast iron skillet, so I want to see how good of a sear I can get on this steak. I know it's gonna be good. So I'm gonna go home and prep the steak because that's gonna be my dinner. And I'm gonna also have some mixed vegetables, which are frozen right now, but I can um, I can put those to boil with a little bit of butter and salt. And then I also have some tomatoes. So I'm gonna have some tomatoes sliced with a little bit of salt. And um, that's gonna be dinner. If you guys are a lot of people ask me, you know, how are you able to stick to the keto diet? Because I get to eat the shit that I love, like steak, for example, the fatty steak. Like, it's important to remember that the ketogenic lifestyle is high fat, medium protein, low to no carbs. So as long as you're eating things that are that have a high fat content, like a steak or ribs or chicken breast with the fat left on and the skin left on or chicken thighs with the skin left on, these are a part of the ketogenic lifestyle, as well as vegetables, you know, green leafy vegetables, spinach, kale, vegetables in general. That is a part of the ketogenic lifestyle, as long as you have that high healthy fat content. If you're going to cook your food, try not to use like artificial um, oils and stuff like that. I usually cook in either olive oil or butter because those are both healthy fats. So the reason why I'm able to eat steak and vegetables and maybe have like a sweet potato instead of a white potato is because it's all a part of the ketogenic lifestyle it trains your body to burn fat for fuel instead of burning sugar or carbs for fuel which in turn helps your body start to burn its own fat stores for fuel as long as you are making sure that you're having that high fat content like don't trim the fat off of what you're eating the meat that you're eating and use butter you know use butter use butter use butter I put butter on every goddamn thing. That is what helps your body learn to burn fat for fuel instead of uh, carbs and sugar. Also, you want to stay hydrated because this diet can also dry you to fuck out. So I make sure that I have water. So I'm constantly drinking something, primarily water, which I spike with cranberry concentrate, which helps to flush out my urinary system and my kidneys. So it just, it takes time it takes some getting used to but you can do it and if you guys need a little bit of guidance or have questions you can always let me know dm me on twitter i'm more than happy to help as much as i can so i'm gonna head home now and uh, start prepping this steak and you guys are gonna come along for the ride so let's go i went by the dollar store to see if they had alcohol nope shelf is empty all they got is some peroxide and band-aids Let's go home. I just realized I never showed you guys the lights. Like I got the lights up on my deck. So let me quickly show you that. Stay this. Stay. Back up. You be looking so lonely. I'm right here. So I took this is 48 feet of lights so what I did was I wrapped it all the way around and then it's plugged in here and then I found out that that plug didn't work which is some bullshit and then I have the hanging ones those ones and those are going all around the top and they actually have a solar panel that I need to put in the Sun so it can charge up before I can use them so it looks better but I'm not able to use the lights yet, so I'm gonna see if I can get um, the guy out here to find out why this outlet doesn't work and see if maybe we can get it to work. If so, then it's perfect. It's been really overcast today, so unfortunately, no sun for me to charge 
the panel with so but that's what basically what it's looking like ladies and gentlemen it is time to cook this motherfucking steak so let's grab it out of here I got some broccoli slaw as well. It's kind of like salad, but it's made with broccoli instead of lettuce. Bro, my refrigerator is, like when the door closes, it seals. So to open it, you have to like put pressure on the upper, I'll show you guys what I mean in a second. So when it closes, it closes like that. Opening it like this, Sometimes it doesn't work. Sometimes you gotta press here to keep the refrigerator pushed back. Otherwise, that shit'll just slide forward, you know? So. <laughs> this is what we're having. It's gonna be nice. I'm gonna cook this one today, put this one in the freezer. So, Lego.
Thank you.